In the world of advanced military aviation, two multi-role fighter aircraft stand out. The Su-30 and Rafal that have gained significant attention in the global defense community. The Su-30, developed by Russia's Sukhoi, is renowned for its versatility in advanced avionics, while the Rafal produced by Dassault Aviation is celebrated for its agility and cutting-edge technology. In this video, we will compare both fighters, examining their design, technological advancements, and operational capabilities. To understand how they stack up against each other in the competitive landscape of modern aerial warfare. The Sukhoi Su-30 is a Russian fighter jet with two engines. It's designed to fly in all weather and perform air-to-air -air and ground attacks. It can fly with autopilot and use radar to navigate at low altitudes. The Su-30 can attack both air and ground targets alone, or in groups. As of 2024, about 600 of these jets have been built. The Rafal is highly versatile, boasting advanced avionics and a wide array of weapons capability. Its design prioritizes agility and adaptability, making it effective in various combat scenarios. As of 2023, approximately 259 Rafal jets have been built, showcasing its significant role in modern air warfare. Both the Su-30 and Rafal are advanced multi-role fighters each with unique capabilities and design philosophies. The Su-30 measures 21.935 meters, 72 feet in length, whereas the Rafal is shorter at 15.27 meters, 50 feet. The Su-30 has a wingspan of 14.7 meters, 48 feet which is notably wider compared to the Rafal wingspan, which is 10.90 meters, 35 feet. The Su-30 has maximum takeoff weight is 34,500 kilograms, 76,059 pounds, significantly higher than the Rafal maximum takeoff weight, which has 24,500 kilograms, 54,013 pounds. The Su-30 is powered by two Saturn AL31FL or FP turbofan engines, each providing 74.5 kilonewton of thrust. In contrast, the Rafal uses two Snecma M88-4E turbofan engines delivering 50.04 kN of thrust. The Su-30 has a rate of climb of 230 meters per second, 45,000 feet per minute, while the Rafal boasts a superior rate of climb at 304.8 meters per second, 60,000 feet per minute. The Su-30 can reach speeds of up to 2,120 km per hour, 1,320 miles per hour at high altitude, while the Rafal has a maximum speed of 1,912 km per hour, 1,188 miles per hour. The Su-30 has a service ceiling of 17,300 meters, 56,800 feet, exceeding the Rafal service ceiling of 15,835 meters, 51,952 feet. The Su-30 is renowned for its robust airframe, exceptional maneuverability in all axes, and its iconic Cobra maneuver. The tactical effectiveness of the Cobra Maneuver 
has been a topic of debate for decades, with no clarity its practical application. Designed originally for ground attack roles, the series incorporates features such as canards, thrust vectoring engines, and a long-range, phased array radar to excel in air superiority missions. Meanwhile, the raffle was meticulously crafted, with reduced radar cross-section and infrared signature in mind. Modifications from the initial technology demonstrator include tail fin size reduction, fuselage reshaping, repositioning of engine air inlets beneath the wing, and extensive use of composite materials. 70% of the raffle intake surface area consists of composites enhancing its stealth capabilities. However, many features aimed at minimizing the raffle visibility to threats remain classified. In terms of armament versatility, the SU-30 is equipped with a robust store management system that allows for the integration of a wide range of weapons and equipment. The SU-30 features 12 hardpoints for mounting various ordnance, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. Additionally, it is armed with a 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon, and it can be armed with a diverse array of weapons, such as the R-27 and R-77 air-to-air missiles, precision-guided munitions, and various types of bombs. While the Raffle utilizes a store management system compliant with MIL STD 1760, facilitating seamless integration of various weapons and equipment, with 14 hardpoints, including five suitable for heavy armaments or auxiliary fuel tanks, Raffle boasts a maximum external load capacity of nine tons. Additionally, it is armed with the 30mm GIT-30 revolver cannon and can be configured with an array of laser-guided bombs and ground attack munitions. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comment section.